A little puffer. Oh, Patagonia. Yeah. I can't really sell ties anymore. How many people are wearing ties? All right. Another so Patagonia. Patagonia. Decent. Decent. Another Patagonia. <laughs> Another. Another oh, Patagonia. Jeez. <laughs> Another one. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm Camilla and I'm Kang and we are the, the five resellers. resellers. We ordered two huge boxes from Thread Up, totaling 100 pounds of men's clothes. So it's the men's rescue box, 100 pounds, and we decided to take a chance on it because honestly we're preparing to have a baby in June and we want to make sure that we have stuff in our house so that you know, once we're kind of ready to get back to work, we don't have to go out to dirty thrift stores with a brand new baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ooh, Dickies. That was our idea with this to have, you know, some backlog of inventory to be able to list throughout that time so that we can continue to make money, mm -hmm. but we'll see how it goes. So we've had some good luck with ThreadUp. We've had some bad luck with ThreadUp yeah. and most of these boxes seem like it's a mixed bag. I mean, it's a mystery box, so it's always kind of fun. Before we totally get into these boxes, why don't you take a guess and comment down below where you think these came from? Now, some people think that the quality of the items are really dependent on where it comes from. Some people have a conspiracy theory. We'll let you know near the end. Mm -hmm. So ThreadUp has a couple of different warehouses, one in Pennsylvania, one in Illinois, one in Arizona, and I'm not sure if there are other ones. Mm -hmm. Those are the main three that we've heard about, but people have different theories of, you know, what will get you a good box and what yeah. will get you a bad box. But. Anyway, let's get into yeah. this. <laughs> okay, so you saw a brief glimpse of this, mm -hmm. but this one is Like jackets. a jacket. I yeah, think I would say it's a shacket. Yeah, it's got a lot of pilling on it. But other than that, I think that this will do well. Shackets are really in style right now. It, it is a little bit past when, you know, they're in season, but they'll still be in style next, you know, winter as well. Yeah, it's so people would nice buy them now. Too. Yeah. Ooh, some shoes. What are those? Some Crocs. <laughs> we're, wondering. we're wondering if we these are cool. These shoes. So I feel like these might be kind of a fancy kind. I've never seen this. Hmm. I've never seen cracks as nice before. Right. <laughs> I mean, like, yes, they're the basic, you know, clog, but like, they've I don't know. This, the, this ankle part. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They've got pretty cool. They've upgraded this since, you know, the ones that I see in the thrift store. I feel like it's not all rubber. It's got this, you know, vinyl yeah. here. The reason that we buy these men's thread up rescue boxes instead of any of the other type that thread up offers is that they don't actually accept any men's items at all. And so sometimes people will accidentally send them men's things because they, you know, maybe don't read the website very carefully. I don't know. Something men would do, I guess. But then they don't have anything to do with these men's items. And so they send them out in rescue boxes. But I feel like the quality is maybe better for the men's boxes because they're not just giving you the rejects of what they don't want to actually sell. It's like all of the men's stuff. Mm -hmm. So the I feel probability like, is like a little higher, just yeah. a little bit probably. Yeah. So again, our own conspiracy theory. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your conspiracy theories down in the comments below. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Okay. Oh, look, a jersey. Yeah, it looks like it has on here, maybe it's for a fraternity because it's got these Greek letters. Mm -hmm. And maybe it was, you know, a personalized thing because it's got, I bet this was someone's like pledge name or something. Lame. I'm not sure that that really has like universal appeal for people on eBay. Doubt Unless it. that one guy like, <laughs> really he wants is it back, like that. You know, yeah. or his son wants it. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Well, this seems nice. Oh, a vest. A little puffer. Oh, Patagonia. Oh, cool. Nice. A Patagonia puffer vest. This is really nice. Wow. So this should definitely sell well for us. This is one of those items that, you know, sells well online and people are always looking for it. It's kind of a classic style. So I'm not sure how much we'll get for it, but I would expect that it would sell pretty quickly. It's a small. So let's have me wear it for a while. <laughs> Woo. Oh, cool. That looks nice. Nice. Are you going to be able to sell it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I'll wear it for the rest of the video. Express. Oh, uh, man. So if you watched our last Thread Up Men's unboxing, 
we got a ton of Express new tags shirts and we've actually sold almost all of them. It does go to show, you know, that there is an audience out there. So hopefully we'll get some others and we can lock them up mm -hmm. together. So yeah. I'm not really sure. New tag Cremio. Cremio. Cremio? I've never <laughs> figured out how to pronounce the yeah. brand. This is one that we see often in the bins, you know, in mm. men's and women's that we don't pick up. Never pick up, but yeah. at least it's new a tag, so that's yeah. That's Does it have it. a price on the tag? No price. That's always better when it has a price, because then you can be like, oh, it was ninety dollars originally, and like hopefully that gets you more, you know. Hopefully so. that gets us twenty. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So hopefully this. Ah, uh, cowboys! Yeah. How about them cowboys, Romo? So that's a good name, at least. Yeah. Everybody knows Romo from the Cowboys. So I don't know who that is. Who is that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Most people who Every are Cowboys. Every boy fan. knows. Every boy knows. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. So is it Tony Romo. Yeah, Tony yeah. Romo. Okay, cool. What's this? Champion. Champion. Is it reverse weave? <gasps> reverse weave. Wow. All right. Let's see what's right. on. Oh, oh cool. classic. It's a blank. Just blank. Cool. Yeah. I like it. I think we can get like thirty dollars for this. I so this so, should too, be pretty good. Sure. So reverse weave is definitely a more sought after style within champion and it basically means that it won't shrink like up like this oh it's new tags wow. all right wow oh my gosh yeah so it won't shrink as often or as yeah. badly so often cotton items will shrink like they won't shrink like this they'll shrink like this they'll get shorter at the mm. bottom so a reverse weave is supposed to help like it not shrink upwards essentially yeah. black bear brand 100 percent virgin wool made Ooh, union made fancy so this is cool this might be looks like vintage yeah it might be vintage it's, it's, got made. This... it's got a very interesting tag here yeah i don't know that we have ever seen this tag before no so never probably the first time finding this yeah brand. we'll have to look it up and see what it goes for but it seems like a really nice piece so very high quality well made Nice. Another express. So oh, nice. Hopefully, hopefully if it's the see. same size, we can lot it up. Size large? Large. Yeah. Nice. We can lot it up. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Nice. So that should be good. Oh, that another way. express. Another large. Nice. We'll lot it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Okay. Next, Van Heusen. So uh, okay. just a that's just okay. plain pair yeah. of work pants. I'm not even going to show you the tag. I'm sure you've seen it a million times in your lifetime. So another Van Heusen. We got a lot of Van Heusen in our last thread up rescue box New and tag. not a lot of it had sold so sixty dollars so it's okay yeah this so one will. yeah it i says, bet this one will temperature activated cooling zone that looks so nice it's got something to it they went ahead and gave us a hanger have you ever seen <laughs> no. this are you I kidding think they must have, i don't Two. know why they did this but it's from men's warehouse maybe the person who sent it in sent it in on the hanger oh and so they gosh. just didn't do any work with it but 29.99 on anyway each yeah so if we lot them up, maybe we'll get $20. Yeah. For them. Well, this is cool. This is this is made with recycled fabric. So these are pretty These are pretty cute, I think. What size are they? Large. It's mm -hmm. too bad. Pineapples too bad they're not and your size. florals. I feel like you would look cute in these. Don't you think? Comment down below if you think I would look cute in these. <laughs> anyway, okay. Gap. Eh. Okay. Pants. Eh. Yeah. That's all right. I feel like... Gap, though, will eventually sell. Like, you know, it has an audience out there, but it won't sell for very much. You know, sometimes you got to wonder if it's worth the time, you know. Right. But this is mainly yeah. a volume type play where mm -hmm. we need the volume to keep our right. stores, you know, active mm -hmm. uh, after we have the baby and all that. So that's a really big consideration for why we've done this. Right. And I think exactly. we're going to hold on to this for quite some time. Because I think Because we're so having too. our baby in June. Did you know that? Yeah. So anyway, we might not got, list all these things right away. Yeah. So we've got Jordans here. So That's Michael, cool. uh, Air Jordan. Yeah. So size small jacket. So pretty, pretty good. Yeah. You know, if we don't sell it, I could wear it. Mm -hmm. Just like this Patagonia vest. Yeah. Okay. Express linen. So not That's so pretty bad. good. Linen is a nice fabric. Can sell things even if the brand isn't, you know, there. Yeah. Seven for all mankind. Nice. All right. That's Austin. Cool. Hey, we sold these Austin. I think uh, so style before yeah so that's pretty good yeah so seven for all mankind we generally like to pick up pretty much anywhere mm -hmm. uh, if it's price right so yeah especially at the bins yeah there you go exactly. awesome i'm gonna say creamio every time we see this because i'm not sure so <laughs> this is also new tag might be the same um, yeah. size I don't know. I don't know. this one is xlt so this one is just xl yeah well close close Maybe this one's someone... kind of nice i feel like that one's kind of christmasy why is that Jack Spade. Oh, oh cool. not bad. 
That's a pretty good brand. I feel yeah. like we could sell this for about $25. Yeah. Another new with tags. This is an, inter an interesting tag. USP Alcatraz. Wait. Yeah, it's an inmate shirt. Inmate shirt. <laughs> USP <laughs> inmate shirt. Very interesting. If you're interested in something like this, let us know. <laughs> the penitentiary is on the inside. You can't see it from the outside. It just looks like a regular chambray shirt. Hmm, not bad. Interesting. Can I call tie? A little tie. Yeah. I don't like getting ties in these because it's like, they're always kind of no-name brands and yeah. you can't really sell ties anymore. How many people are wearing ties? All right. Another so Patagonia, Patagonia piece. Shorts. Cool. Yeah. So there you go. We like is getting good size? brands. 31. 31. Oh. This is a pretty good box so far. So far. I hope, I hope I'm not jinxing it. Don't jinx us. Don't jinx us. Eddie Bauer. All right. A Look, little. Lease line. Yeah, like a parka. Nice. That's nice. I bet that this will sell pretty well, too. Yeah, so Eddie Bauer, pretty good resale value. Mm -hmm. a very recognizable brand. Right. So we like it. Yeah. Life is good. Oh, good it says catch. good catch. And it's new tag, so that's, that's nice. It's size large. Ooh, Nike. Nike. New Ooh, tag. New tag. Oh, SB. What is that? Oh, it's, it's shoelaces. For, no, it's for um, the drawstring. There's a little drawstring thing on the here. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. Fascinating. So, I bet those would sell pretty well. Pretty nice. So just the retail is 65 and the sale price was 45 45 Pretty good. Mark Anthony. Okay, so Mark Anthony, pretty recognizable brand. Doesn't yeah. resell for a whole lot. Yeah, but we have, we picked up a couple things in the last Thread Up Rescue Box by this brand and all of them have sold. So Really? Yeah. Because I, I randomly looked back because I was, I think, deleting listings or something. I'm very skeptical. And I looked... And they were all deleted, so huh. I'm assuming that we sold all of them. I mean, I think we only got two things. But they were nice things. They were two, I think, sweaters. Hmm. This one says Hart Schaffner Marks. I don't know. I don't that know is. if that's a Bolo brand or not. I don't know. It's new with tags. Oh, $115 new. That's pretty good. Whoa. Tall man. Here's a tag. Apparently, it has a pretty decent retail value, but yeah. we'll see how it does with resale. Right. How about them cowboys? Yeah, all right. Another well, cowboy. It's like, this is so mass made that I don't know if oh, don't it's know. going to be selling for a lot. Well, but I don't know. Is it vintage? I feel like it will sell because Cowboys fans are so abundant that I'm sure someone is going to want it. Burnside. Burnside shorts. I don't know anything like about swim. this brand. It's a good time to get some swim shorts in, so. So, we'll see. Okay. It looks like it's a good size, too. We may have to strategize when we list this stuff because mm -hmm. we don't want to hold on to it for too long. Yeah. Ralph Lauren. Nice eh. plaid shirt. You know, classic Ralph Reminds Lauren. Classic style. brand. New tag. Carhartt. Oh. All right. Cool. All right. A little long sleeve. It's got the spell out on the sleeve. That's nice. Long sleeve. Large. Loose fit. Nice. Pretty good. So here's the tag for you if you're ever curious. I'm sure mm -hmm. you've heard of it before. You see all the teen girls wearing their Carhartt beanies? Oh, yeah. They're not really working. They're just working on themselves. Have you heard of that meme? No. <laughs> <laughs> you heard of that joke? Under Armour. All uh, right. Under Armour, sleeveless, top. Yeah, a workout. Workout. Yeah. Women's. Huh. They gave us a women's item. It's, it clearly says women's right here. It's a tapered pants of some sort. It's Muji. M-U-J-I. Look at this. They they didn't even care to read it. They're They're like... Yeah. Whatever. Oh, wow. It looks like a men's brand. It feels cheap. Throw it in the box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Disappointing. Land's End Outfitters. All right. So. Hopefully this should do well. I don't know. I don't know. What do you feel about Land's End? Well, I like Land's End, but only for like really interesting things. Well, and swim. Oh, I love Land's End for swim. Another woman's item. Fox Croft. It's going to be very hard to show you this, but... It's basically embroidered on there. Yeah. Oh well. I don't Kaufman. Know. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know what team this is. is. Jinx. Uh, Kaufman. We're gonna have to do some research. We'll pop it up on the screen if we can find it. Another Nike SB shorts. Cool. Cool. These are different. These are not yeah. the same fabric. They're like. They're more canvas, casual. Canvas almost. Mm -hmm. This one feels thick. The North Face. All right. All right. Very recognizable brand. Very likable. Very little, uh, good for resale. Kind of a fleece, sort of soft shell yeah, jacket. Yeah, extra large, so pretty good size too. Yeah. Kind of not the right season for it anymore, but I'm sure we'll be able to sell it. This seems fancy. I know. Mason de la Forette. 
the Evan pants. Extra small. Maybe they're women. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if these were women's again. They look very long. Yeah, this is the tag. Very interesting. I don't think we've ever had this. And I don't. No. I've never. I've heard never of it. seen it. So. Let us know if you anyway, know anything about that. Otherwise, yeah. we'll do some research. Yeah, hopefully it's good. Another Patagonia. All right, cool. Aha. Two Patagonia shorts. Yeah, that be good. boy. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That's Express. Hmm. Medium. Medium. Just a sweatshirt. Just a sweatshirt. Okay, what's this? This is cool. Nets. Nets. Basketball. Okay, cool. Nice. Three stripe Adidas. It's a sample. Oh, what the? interesting. Does that mean we're not allowed to sell it? I don't know. Disney, Disney or Dead Mouse? Oh, nope. Disney. Disney Parks. I think it's a, a spirit jersey. Disney. It's a spirit jersey. World. Disney World. That's so cool. We've never found that before. Cool. Authentic, original spirit jersey, size large. Isn't this really desirable? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It depends on which kind you get. So I don't know if this specific one goes for a lot. I've heard that spirit jerseys are desirable. But I think that they're different designs. Wow, they go all the way across the shoulders. I know. That's the, that's the idea. Dang. Yeah. That's really cool. Okay, well, this is no name. <laughs> just a plain t-shirt. <laughs> just, just right after we said that. Just a plain old t-shirt. No name, no tag. That whatsoever. looks like it's your size. Maybe. Kuyiko. Yeah, that's probably not very good. I gotta be honest with you. That looks like an Instagram brand. Instagram brand. From the way that the tag is and, and just the... Just the long sleeve. I think maybe that's a so women's. It might be a women's. Is this Patagonia? Nope. Nike, Nike. SB. Another one. All right. Another no. one in the kind of canvas. Yeah. Denim type. No. It's not new with tag and there are none of the little drawstrings. So yeah. that's unfortunate. Oh, well. Lululemon. All right. Oh. Cool. Some Lululemon shorts. All right. Nice. With the rip tag and everything. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. How exciting. Cool. Wow. We love selling Lululemon yeah. men's stuff. Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. Not bad. Okay. We'll I, I don't think we've ever sold Calvin Klein dress pants. At least before. it's 100% wool. Ooh, fancy. So, at least it's not polyester. Yeah. The wool should do well. Some um, sweatpants. Yeah, pull my sweatpants. Okay. Ooh, my. Decent. Decent. Another Patagonia. Ooh. All right. Some Patagonia shorts. Yeah. Let's go. More hiking style shorts. All right. Perfect. Another? Another oh, Patagonia! Jeez, we're killing it! <laughs> this box is killing it! Wow. Another one! Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, just they just packed, packed it in. They packed it in. They packed it in, y'all. Wow. Oh my gosh, wow. 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 Jeez. Amazing. Dockers. Some okay, dockers. Well, dockers. Okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you gotta take the bad with the good. Yeah. Brixton. I don't um, know if this is anything. Yeah, I don't it know. It doesn't seem like anything. Yeah. I feel like we've come across this but haven't picked it up before. I think so. So just some plain old shorts. Yeah. Okay, last one in this box. Adidas. Sounds really like, it sounds it's like new, new with tags. tag at least. Yeah. Some really <laughs> it's see through almost <laughs> sheer shorts. <laughs> well maybe they're running shorts. Um and then you're supposed to wear like those compression shorts underneath. Cool. Well, cool. That was just half of it. All right, so let's jump into this next box. We've got Calvin Klein jean that you saw earlier in that opening. So size large. Yeah. Some sweatpants. sweatpants. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. They're pretty nice. I mean, the thicker sweatpants are, the better, right? Uh, yeah. I'm not really sure. I'm not. I don't know what people are looking for in sweatpants. <laughs> so polo. Some so polo Ralph Lauren, I guess. Shorts. Polo golf. Golf. Oh, Ralph interesting. Ralph Lauren pants. Oh, so, pants. Okay. Not bad. Cool. Got a cool little patch there. Some khakis. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it says Rain Tex All Weather Gear. Never heard of this. Yeah, me neither. Pretty neat. It seems Looks pretty nice. nice though. Yeah. A little fleece, basically. Yeah. There's a tag for you, just in yeah. case you're curious. But otherwise, it seems like it's pretty well made. Yeah. We'll see how that does. All right. Let's Nike. See what this is. Some Nike. Golf These shorts. look like golf shorts, yeah. Yep. Nike Golf. Nice. Traffic. That's good. Angela Latrico Chinos. So, I guess it's Chino's brand. I don't know. I've never. I'm pretty sure it's Angel Latrico brand. Angel Latrico style. <laughs> no, this that is doesn't so, make any sense. This Neither is so way confusing. It makes so much sense. <laughs> we got to do a little bit of research. Yeah. But I don't think yeah. there's a brand called just Chino. So, I, don't, I, don't I don't know. I don't think so. So okay, we've what's got this? Peter Millar. Okay. Nice. Okay. Peter Millar little... is pretty good brand. It's got a. 1899 patch or embroidery there. Yeah. So that's pretty I don't neat. Know what that is. So Peter Millar is a pretty well-known brand. 
I think it yeah. should do pretty well. I'm hoping we can get like $20 for this. Yeah, let us know if you know which country club this is or golf course or whatever. Hmm. If you've seen that logo before. Some Vans shorts, mm -hmm. size 34. Very classic gray. I feel like pretty much everything that I've ever <laughs> picked up from Vans is that color, that gray. <laughs> That's true. That's so. true. Okay, what's this? Some more shorts. Some more shorts. Some Gap? No, Free, Free World. World. Size 33. Hmm. Interesting. I don't so, know that brand. It's got some nice metal detailing here. So yeah. Maybe they're a pretty decent brand. I mean, they feel kind of nice and heavy, like yeah. well made. Duke. Hmm. Duke Athletic. Just a plain shirt. Plain t-shirt. <laughs> okay. Okay. A blazer made in Indonesia. Sex with Avenue. Oh, oh okay. Cool. All right. We'll take that. Sex yeah. with Avenue. All right. So we've got here the Infinity Gauntlet. Just a long sleeve. I don't yeah, know that this is going to be worth much. It's just Marvel. Yeah. Size large. Evangelion. Evangelion. It's a very classic anime. I'm not going to go into it. I don't know too much about it other than the name. So yeah. Another fan tee. Westbury. You know anything about that? Nope. Never heard of it. A pair of pants. Just a so. pair of chinos. Oh, I don't know. These seem kind of canvassy. Yeah, so not too bad. Yeah, pretty cool. So, just kind of basic. As you can tell, we don't know that much about men's stuff. We've been trying to learn by getting these boxes. We don't pick up a lot of men's stuff at the yeah. bins. We sometimes see it, but, you know, it just feel a little bit out of our element. So, yeah. it forces if, us into learning more about it. Exactly. So, if you see us saying, like, oh, I don't know about this brand, it's just because... We seriously don't know. We're yeah. like t still newbies at <laughs> selling men's clothes, yeah. it feels like. Crane, I think. Crane. Oh, yeah. Crane shorts, XL. Yeah. Pretty nice are... material. Yeah. Pretty Almost, cool pattern. They feel like, um, no, they're not ripped stop. But they feel almost like it. Like kind of that like weight yeah. feel. Okay, so we've got nice. Under Armour. Kind of like it's a nice. check, jacket yeah. type thing. That's cool. Pretty cool colorway. Place. Like, Children's place. Kids. <laughs> Lame. Oh well. Oh well. Cargo we'll pants. It. Oh look, a suit. Oh a set. man, a Christmas suit. <laughs> My favorite. Size 38, men's 38. And so. it says oppo suits. Not quite the right time to get that, but you know, whatever. We'll hold on to it for a while. Yeah. Eterna Excellent Red Line. Short Button sleeve, up. even? Short sleeve. Gosh. Short <laughs> sleeves are harder to sell, I feel like. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. So, so it's a long sleeve? Yeah. Not bad. Should do. Okay. All right. Tuxedo. A blazer. Express. Oh. New tags. It's got that tuxedo. Oh my gosh. It. it was $328 originally. <laughs> That's crazy. I feel like this is part of a, a tuxedo top or something. Yeah. A tuxedo Slim set. Slim fit photographer. Cool. Well, I don't know. It, is it a tuxedo? I feel like well, usually yeah. what gives it That's away true. is this lapel that it's know. satin. But I don't know. I don't know. But you know Express has happened to have been 300 something dollars, but we'd be lucky to get $100 for it. We'd yeah. be lucky to get $50 for it. Yeah, really. So, we'll see. Brooks Brothers. Okay. Okay, recognizable brand. Yeah. It doesn't exist anymore. That store has closed. Hmm. So, Feels we might new. be looking for it online. Banana Republic, three diamonds. So, it's outlet. Outlet. Uh. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Savane. Savane. Never heard of this brand. Never heard of it. Some khakis. Some sweatpants. Uh, Nike. Nike. Okay. okay. All right. We'll take that. We'll take that. So this box is still pretty good, but not as exciting as the other one. I think. Yeah. I'm sorry. We're not very energetic about this. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it kind of sucks right now. <laughs> Joseph A. Bank. Joseph Bank Traveler's Collection. Mm -hmm. You know, that is something that you want to be aware of when you order these men's boxes is that a lot of what you get are dress pants, khakis, button up shirts. That's a lot of what men wear on like Monday through Friday. So... <laughs> That's what you're going to get. Yeah. And then for things like the weekends, you get a lot of golf stuff. Right. It says yeah. Bobby Jones performance. Cool. <laughs> it's a, a golf shirt. White. And then ah, whatever this is. Whatever this is. Alligator. Hopefully we'll be pleasantly surprised when we look up Bobby Jones. Dockers. Nice. Dockers. Dockers. Long so sleeve. Long sleeves. Mm. Columbia Omniwick. Size That's large. Pretty good. pretty good. Yeah. Pretty cool pattern. So not so bad. And yeah. Columbia is a pretty good brand. Yeah. I think that'll do all right. I bet it would sell for like 15, 20. Yeah. Another Nike Golf. Nike Polo. Golf. Okay. All right. Another country club. Yeah, probably I'm another not country sure. club. It's I'm a, not sure why. It, yeah. Why two of them had dates on there. Hmm. Very weird. If you know anything about that, let us know in the yeah. comments. I feel like that's probably hard to look up. So we really mm -hmm. need help on that one. Jack and Jones. 
pretty pretty thick sweater yeah kind of a so, classic just pull over yeah kind of nice yeah so pretty we'll cute. see how that does yeah. first time finding this duluth trading company okay. so we know of this brand yeah Extra we've large, only sold size. one thing but yeah um it wasn't a t-shirt so i'm not yeah. sure how this the works. jeans do pretty decent yeah mark stanford never heard of that brand short Another sleeve black short sleeve yeah. I feel like maybe someone who donated these, um, you know, worked at a restaurant. I feel like that was <laughs> like restaurant wear. Yeah. You know, you have to wear the black button up. Okay. Another I think this is Brothers. the same size too. So nice. maybe we can lot them up. Yeah. That'd be good. This one is kind of like red, white, and blue. Yeah. So not so bad. Patagonia organic cotton. Oh, cool. cool. Okay. So All a, right. a plaid short sleeve shirt by Patagonia. I feel like that would right. be pretty well. Yeah. Are things really see. looking up for this box now? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. George. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> George. George, which is, I think, so Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. yeah. Nike dry fit. Just so. kind of like a basketball tank. Yeah. Maybe it is yeah. houndstooth. I'm not sure. Let us know in the comments. Houndstooth or herringbone or some sort. It's well, Forever 21's men brand yeah. or line. And yeah. it feels pretty thick. Kind of nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah. maybe it would be worth something. Maybe. I don't know. The last time we got some Forever 21 men's in a box like this, I took it to Buffalo Exchange and they bought it from me. Huh. So I might do that again with this, but it's kind of past the time where they would be buying something like that. But also I could see it selling online too. We got some Under Armour men's yep. shorts. Just some medium. basketball shorts. So not bad. So yeah, there might be a person who a wants to wear <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> red on red. You know, represent yeah. two brands there. Okay, what's this? This looks cool. Nike. Little starter jacket. Okay, Nike. That's interesting. Pretty cool. Yeah. Looks vintage to me, but I don't know. I have no idea. I have no but idea. Nike is usually a pretty decent seller. Yeah. Express. Express. Mm. Classic. So. Low striped. Polo. Striped. Polo. Yeah. John Blair. John fine. Blair. It's polyester and rayon though. It feels mm -hmm. kind of like linen, but yeah, it's at not. least it's new attack. It's a bowling shirt. It looks like. Well, at least. It's well, new with. Kind of new, new with button. button. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there are any new without in there. tag. I, I would assume. assume, yeah, because I wouldn't think that you would wear it with that little plastic bag in your neck. Yeah. you know, J. Crew the Sutton. It's J. Crew um, outlet. outlet. So. Yeah, so some dress pants. Lower tier. Yeah. yeah, but I would expect that they'll still sell. People yeah. look for these. You know, they know that they like the the brand, the size, the style. They look for them online. Another blazer? Oh my gosh. This looks like a women's blazer. No man is wearing a pink blazer. Why would they even put this in the men's box? Like, <laughs> you have to know that this Sex is Sex Avenue. Another oh, Sex with cool. Avenue. I don't know. You might have to eat those words because... 100% that... silk. Whoa. Wow. Pure silk. Probably from the same guy. Yeah, maybe... Silk. And... I don't know. I feel like I don't know. this is not... The inside is probably silk. Here's how it looks. It's pretty nice, actually. Yeah. But very pilly in a way. Yeah. I feel like it's linen. It might yeah. be a linen on the outside. Maybe. So. But it's definitely older. Maybe we can lot it up. <laughs> <laughs> Two sacks with so. Avenue blazers. I don't think so. Two of the price of one. Come on. Okay, some Levi's jeans. 5'11s. 5'11s. 30, 30. 5'11s. Nice. Yeah. Not bad. They've got a yeah. decent sell through rate. Oh my gosh, we're getting to the end. Large Another drags. Nike dry fit. Quarter, Quarter zip. zip. Okay. Nice. Some black on black. Gap. Some pants. Some yeah. gap pants. Calvin Klein. Another maybe, pair of dress pants. Maybe they're the same. Oh, I think they are. As like other ones, maybe we can lock these up. No, Men. these are polyester rayon. So I guess you have the wool for the winter and the polyester watch for the summer. Yeah, there you go. Banana Republic Immersion Chino. Cute. Some just khaki. Those should do okay. Another Nike sweater. Nike? This one? Nice. Pretty thick. Pretty nice. What is that? Uh, NT slash F? NT slash F. I don't know. Another okay, pair of Levi's. Jeans. Some fun. 550s. 550s. That's good. 4232. Okay, that's a good that's size. Nice. They look like they're in pretty good condition. Yeah. Older, obviously. But... They definitely threw this in here because it was heavy. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Jeez. White Sierra hiking pants. Think outside! Exclamation point. Oh, they're convertible. Convertible hiking pants are better than regular hiking pants. Makes sense. Very versatile. Yeah, exactly. Because I guess you start out, it's cold, it's first thing in the morning, and then you zip off the pants because, you know, you start getting hot, hiking. Very nice. Under Armour? Under Armour. Another pair of okay. Under Armour shorts. Yeah, These are like them up. lizard skin almost. Denim and flower, Ricky Singh. Uh, I've looked up this brand before. Yeah. It's not great. Yeah. But linen, maybe it'll still sell. Hopefully. Express. Penguin? Oh, Penguin. Penguin is 
not a very high value brand, but we have sold a couple items from yeah. this brand. So it does sell. Decent sell through rate. B K L Y N. Like Probably Brooklyn, Brooklyn Athletics. Yeah. Look at this. This is interesting. Very funky. It's almost like inside out. Sure. It's very weird. It's like meant to be that way because, you know, you can see the tag. Okay, last but not least, Polo Ralph Lauren. Oh, okay, cool. Pretty Black cool. watch polo team. Interesting, and then you though. You got a number two in the polo back. Polo top. I bet that will do well. Yeah. I feel you like got that a seems... red pony. So yeah. maybe that'll be worth something really yeah, good. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that was a pretty good 100 pounds. I yeah, I like, guess. I mean, I feel like we got some good stuff. And we got a lot of things that are recognizable brands, you know, like Nike and mm. Under Armour and things like that, that, you know, won't sell for a ton of money, but people are searching for those things online. And then, you know, we got just kind of some duds, I guess I would call them, like yeah. things that either we don't know about or are, you know, not really things that sell very much online because why would someone go online when they can just buy it in the store for mm. about the same amount? As far as the comparison to the other boxes mm -hmm. we've gotten before, this one's pretty good, actually. Yeah. I would give it seven eight yeah it's got a, so. it had a lot of patagonia in the first box so yeah. that was a real saving grace it you know it took us on a roller coaster it went really high we were really excited and then kind of just went yeah. downhill from there i feel like we got fewer dress pants fewer dress shirts this time around that's true and we got more like kind of casual mm -hmm. things which i feel like sell better dressy stuff like dress shirts dress pants people don't wear them as much anymore not yeah. a lot of people are working in offices right now and even people who did go back to the office, a lot of offices is, have kind of downgraded their yeah. dress codes. And so people dress more casually for yeah. work now than they did before. So anyway. Anyway, so based on all of that, I hope that you guessed right because we got these from Arizona. Yeah. That is pretty surprising, I think, to a lot of people because we've heard a lot of horror stories from boxes, you know, people unboxing you know, boxes from Arizona. Apparently, mm -hmm. it's not the place to be getting yeah. boxes from. I don't know. But I would think that people from California, like if they were sending their things into ThreadUp, it would go to Arizona. And then, so I would think that there would potentially be that good stuff so, in that. Yeah. You know, whereas like the, the Pennsylvania one, I would assume that would be like people from New York. You know, so I think that both of those places have good, you know, kind of feeding cities. I would say like Illinois, probably doesn't give very good stuff because i would assume it's like midwest people sending in their stuff i can say that because i'm from the midwest but like it's like we're not like super fashion forward there you know yeah. i mean maybe some people are i would assume some people there are but you know you don't have that same type of culture but anyway, anyway. <laughs> those are our boxes 100 yeah. pounds total wow yeah. hopefully you tell us what you think in the comments hopefully you give us you weigh in on mm -hmm. you know just what you think about this we had a lot of fun opening it up yeah and hopefully we'll get some more and show you in the future too exactly so if you liked this video give it a thumbs up that tells youtube that you know these kind of unboxing videos people like and that it tells us that we should make more of them and if you aren't subscribed consider subscribing we have a couple of these unboxing videos we do them occasionally but we also do what's old videos what's selling on different you know, resale platforms and hauls, thrift hauls. So if you like seeing us talk about lots of clothes, seeing lots of clothes, we're definitely a channel to be following because that's pretty much all that we do is just talk about clothes, how much they'll sell online and all of that. Yeah. So we'd love to have you as part of our YouTube community. Yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. Too bad. Pineapples Too bad and florals. I feel like you would look cute in these. Don't you think? Comment down below if you think I would look cute in these. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Send Camilla a DM. Send me a DM. Let no, me know that no. I would look cute in those no shirts. That would be really nice. I, I would be very flattered. <laughs> but don't let her know that you sent it. Just keep it between us. No men. <laughs> Ladies only. <laughs> Sorry, that was so funny.